So next, let's have a look at Swatch's panel. The Swatch's panel hosts preset and custom palettes which contain predefined colors. Now, where we've stopped previously is on the HSL sliders um, and we still have the stroke highlighted, the donut shape. So select colors from the pop-up menu, which we have, colors, and down the bottom you will see swatches. So tap on swatches and there's various things you can have in there. Recent colors, grays, colors. We don't want, we want colors. We don't want grays. We want, well, we don't at this stage. Colors. You'll notice there's all sorts of things in there. Gradients, unnamed, Pantone colors. So if you're dealing with printing houses, Pantone colors might become important. But the color panel here shows you a set of predefined colors and simply tapping any one of those will change the color of the stroke, the outer circle. Red, green, blue, pink, yellow, and there are lots of colors in there, so really you don't have to worry too much, and, and on they go. Endless numbers of colors. Nice bright green, nice bright yellow, and that's all there is to quick colors. That Remember the circle with the line through it is no color. They're quick colors. Recent colors, we had yellow. Quick colors, gray or black or white, which of course is invisible on the background. No color at all or that color there. Maybe that color there. It depends on what you fancy. That's the end of the swatches exercise, HLL sliders. You can still change those tones, of course. Swatches down the bottom of that, and there they all are again. Okay, that's all there is to it.